Today's project is to do in the whole we're rearranging all the rooms and moving all around is the sort of the century. So, any undergarments? I'm gonna go in here. This was all stuff I kind of found on the floor. Uh, and I didn't know clean or dirty, so I just assumed it was dirty. That actually might be Ava's. And so I feel like if I could get this sorted, then we're going to sort on the floor. And I'm going to do, like I said yesterday, pile the sweatshirts together, the sweats, and then I'm hoping she'll have the day off tomorrow and we could go through it i'm putting gloves in with the underwear and socks too da, 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 da. oh my 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 and is this one hers oh yeah justin bieber that would be her <laughs> she's the only one wearing justin bieber clothes in the house trust me so how are you guys doing how are you doing on your projects i hope you like one person said that they'll watch my video and then when they're doing something they'll watch it again and body double so i hope you are getting to spend some of your time relaxing oh oh this must be pajamas see i see something and i think oh that's underwear <laughs> No, they're shorts. Okay, sure. So, um, yeah, so I hope you're getting to spend time relaxing and having fun, enjoying August while it lasts, because I have one in school and then um, nobody homeschooling this year. I feel like I'm gonna be able to treat September kind of like summer because the one in school is a senior, so she's pretty independent. All right. This is almost done. And then we can start organizing the floor to have all the categories represented so she can flip through her clothes quickly and decide what she wants to keep, what she wants to donate, and what is going to get thrown away. That was easy. That was fast. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is get some of the things off the floor and put them on the bed to just get them out of the way. So any health products like you know, things you use to get ready in the morning. I'm putting them here. Any trash I can get rid of. And the stuff I just want out of the way is going to go on the bed. Stuff needs to get folded. Memorabilia, shoes. I need to make categories. So sweats and sweatshirts. So sweatshirts here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three. So that's 13 right there. Two. Maybe I'll, I should color code these. <laughs> Three, that's too much. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. one has a zipper so we'll put it over here. Well no because it only has a half a zipper. 19. 20. the thing that I found now I'm putting all the undergarments together and random things is that Yvonne yes has a ton of sweatshirts and sweatpants she lives in those 12 months out of the year even when it's hot she is rarely in a short sleeve shirt and she had less than 10 I want to say five or six short sleeve shirts it's all sweatshirts and sweatpants she had two pairs of pants I think that aren't sweatpants and one of those are jeans that were worn and kind of ripped on the bottom and so it's definitely time for her to get some new jeans if she wants to wear them. It's summer and she has maybe three or four pairs of shorts you know I didn't I'm trying to think if I even saw sandals I think she has a couple pairs of slides so this girl you know being born in Nicaragua spending her first six years there the girl runs cold. She is always, always cold, so she cannot resist a good deal on sweats or sweatshirts. Now I'm gonna go out to the living room and start bringing in the boxes of clothes that we had brought down earlier that you saw in yesterday's video. So I kind of look at this like a pre-declutter. I am organizing this stuff so that she can just go when she gets here. So I'm gonna put the, this is like, she has had three pairs, well, one of these are leggings. Leggings, like black, blue jeans, and then kind of a cotton, um, what do you call them? Like this, with the pockets on the side. Speaking of pockets, why is mine unzipped? Okay, and then, Sweats, oh my, I need to count these. I lost count of the sweats, <laughs> but I really wanna count them. And I think I was thinking about labeling everything for her too. All right, so I'm gonna do leggings and the kind of sweats that have the same material as leggings right here. She may not have many pairs of those, we'll see. But I can't believe more sweats, like what the heck. I guess they didn't fit all in one bag. And these are the other material, that material, that material. And then, oops. oh, shirts, tanks. Dress, 
That can go on a hanger. I need to get her some hangers. So maybe I'll hang it on the door while I'm, or I'll put it over here. That will be for later. And a shirt that I haven't seen her wear in nigh on to 80 years. T-shirt that I know isn't even hers. Oh, more sweats. Yay, more sweats, more sweats. And a shirt. It's really hard to fold and make it look nice. I guess if I go this way. Okay. Sweatshirt. I don't know how I end up messing these up. I had them all folded. I think we can get rid of this. I forgot the zippered hoodies. <laughs> so yeah, found more. All right, I'm gonna put the zippered hoodies with this Sherpa jacket. Think of them as jackets. Now I'm going to take all these undergarments and I'm going to set up a sorting system for underwear, socks, bras. All right, I think that'll make it helpful too, if for no other reason than for her to understand how much she actually has. And then I'm going to throw things. Um, hmm, easier said than done, I think, but, and then like bathing suits, I have one on the floor for bathing suits, so, socks, and then maybe, I don't know if I will sort socks or not and match them because she doesn't have any sense of needing to wear them that way. <laughs> All right, air conditioner and cueing music now. I have a challenge for you to think about. So in the comments section, I saw that one person was describing to me her project, which I love to hear all about what you're doing in your home. So if you don't mind putting in the comments what you're working on today, would love to see it. And she had said that, you know, she struggles with illness, chronic pain, you know, just chronic situations with her health. And she didn't get, to, she said, I didn't get to do anything today, but I hope to get right back to it tomorrow because she needed to rest. And I want to challenge you that when you have a long-term project, because we take big projects and put them in small bites, right? When you have a long-term project and you have to take a day off, like I took, I think it was two days ago, even though you saw a video it was because I was a day ahead with my filming that taking that day of rest is actually part of the project because if you don't listen to your body and you just keep going, 
you're going to feel worse and worse until you're not able to work at all and the project has to stop. It's way more important that your project can keep going than it is that you do it every single day. I also wanted to point out that what you see in one video is usually about an hour to two hours of work. It is not all day. I'm not doing this all day. I did this a little bit more today. This video is actually the afternoon and yesterday's video was the morning. So I just want you to get the reality of it. I did about an hour, maybe a little better than an hour in the morning and also my husband was kind of involved a little bit so that helped me and then this I was doing like late afternoon because it just was in my craw and I was desiring to do it I was already downstairs and if you remember I had said I couldn't go up and down the stairs so keeping these little boundaries for yourself setting them up knowing when you need to rest listening to your body all of those are part of the project we think we take a break from the project when we rest but resting actually helps our brain to process what we've been doing it gives us great ideas for when we come back and we're just able to restore ourselves. In fact, I remember when my mother was struggling with dementia and if she would sleep, like let's say she was super confused and then she would go to sleep and she would wake up clear as a bell because our brain needed that reset. Our brain resets when we sleep. So even taking a nap, you know, this many times that you could wake up from a nap and now you've got some great ideas that you didn't have before. So taking those breaks is so important. And I also think it helps us not to have to redo parts of the project because we get to think about it in the off time. Even if we're not purposely thinking about it, our brain is always working. So take the time to rest. Remember, even when you have to take a day, two days, three days, whatever it is, it saves you from future illness and injury. And it gives your brain time to process and think about better ways to attack the project better ways to organize, more things you might like to declutter. Once you think about it, you think, you know what? I guess I didn't need that after all. So that is my challenge for you today. Let me know, are you someone who is able to let yourself rest? And do you think you'd be able to see that as just part of the overall project? Here's the end result for today. If you've missed any of these videos, I'll have the full playlist list in the upper left-hand corner. Yvonne will be all ready to declutter. Remember, as always, God loves you. I love you too. And I can't wait to see you next time.